actually, ballet isn't just pretty and elegant. It can be used to kill people. Spinning, kicking, lowering, ducking, random 180 degree backward leg lifts, and then using her upper body to press completely against her thighs. After she dodges the attack, it's time to show her trunk art. Maya spun around a hundred times, and each time she spun around, she punched this woman in the face. The female inmate is hit so hard, she can't tell which way she's going. Maya rushes forward and kicks her in the jaw. She was a ballet dancer. Under the skin a ballerina might have the heart of a boxer. Maya is not a fighter. The only reason she took on this woman was to protect herself. Today, this woman put a spoon to the back of her neck and threatened her with protection money. The only thing Maya had on her was her wedding ring, which she had smuggled into the prison. Of course, she couldn't take it away from her, so she had to fight back. With the inmate pissed off, the two of them got into a fight. Maya won the fight, but her ring was confiscated as prison contraband. The warden ordered her to be put in a dark room to reflect, but Maya didn't know what she had to reflect on. Half a month ago, she was a beautiful Russian ballerina, with a lovely daughter and a rich husband. Maya was a winner. She danced on the stage with her exquisite body. She had so many jealous co-workers that they lined up from Russia to France. But even a white swan can become an ugly duckling. Her husband was killed by Richard, a mafia boss, due to a conflict of interest. Maya is furious, but she doesn't dare speak out. Even after that, Richard wouldn't let it go. He asked Maya to give him financial documents worth hundreds of millions of dollars that her husband had left behind. Maya had never heard her husband talk about it, so she couldn't find it. So Richard set her up to go to jail. A large amount of drugs were found in Maya's car, and she was forced to go to jail with no way to defend herself. Her daughter has been in Richard's hands ever since. Maya is furious and angry, but there is nothing she can do about it. The inmate who targets Maya in the opening scene is actually one of Richard's henchmen. She was responsible for forcing Maya to reveal the whereabouts of the file. But not only was she unsuccessful, she was beaten 50 times by Maya's fists. The inmate, furious, slit Maya's wrist while she was in the cell and tried to make it look like suicide. But Maya's life wasn't meant to be. She was soon found by Richard's men and taken out of the prison to be treated. How could the prison doctors resist the temptation of seeing a living, breathing beauty? On the ambulance, Maya is being molested by two doctors who don't realize the price they'll have to pay. As she keeps kicking and lifting her legs, the two doctors scream as they are beaten up. The driver in the front doesn't know what's going on. Maya's ballet is no powder puff sport. She kicks as hard as any man. The two doctors were soon knocked out one by one. She then went to the front and hijacked the driver before getting into the driver's seat herself. Maya drove the car to the outskirts of town, where a friend of hers lived. Maya tried to go to him for help, but as soon as she rang the doorbell of her friend's house, she passed out from blood loss. Luckily, her friend came out in time and brought her home. Maya was rescued at her friend's house and woke up a few days later. She told her friend about the mafia boss, Richard, who killed her husband and kidnapped her daughter. Her friend offered to help her find her daughter, but only if Maya could find what Richard wanted, so he could negotiate with him. Maya rushed to remember if her husband had left any clues about the file. Suddenly she remembers that her husband sent her flowers before he died. The flowers were in the dance studio. Maya never picked them up. She went to the dance studio with the idea of giving it a try. The poster belonging to her had been replaced by that of her rival. Nina, Maya then remembered that Nina had ridden in her car before and drugs were found in her car. It looks like Nina and Richard are in cahoots. Maya was furious and quickly went backstage and hid the razor blade in Nina's ballet shoes. She wanted to teach Nina a lesson. I'm prepared. Nina put on her shoes and went on stage. Then she stood on her tiptoes as she usually did. However, the red blood instantly stained the white dancing shoes. By the time Nina took them off, her toes were already cut up. Meanwhile, Maya had found the flowers her husband had given her and inside the flowers was a card with the address of the train station and a code. Maya knew that this was where the important document was hidden. She quickly picked up her bag and headed to the train station. As she typed in the code given by her husband, a locker door opened, and inside was the important document Richard had been looking for so long. Maya rushed to take them away. However, before she could leave the train station, she saw a group of Richard's men. As Maya ran, one of Richard's men also saw her. Maya could only hide in the women's restroom, but the men were still chasing after her. These men broke into the women's restroom. The janitor tells them to get out, but they kick her out. The gangsters crouch down to take a closer look at the stalls. But there's no sign of Maya. Maya is hanging onto the toilet door by her arms and legs in midair. When one of the gangsters opens the door she's in, Maya kicks it right in. Another man quickly came over and grabbed her back. Maya's decades of ballet practice proved not to be in vain. He gets roundhouse kicked by her 20 times while he's already off his feet and losing his offense. Even though the gangsters are all being down by Maya, her crisis isn't over. 
She knew there were other members of Richard's crew outside the restroom. Luckily, her friend sent her a message saying that he had a driver waiting for her. Maya trusted her friend, so she followed her friend's instructions and got into a car. But the car kept driving further and further into the middle of nowhere. Maya panicked. She asked the driver where he was taking her, but the driver didn't say a word. He just raised the visor. Maya realized something was wrong and tried to open the door to jump out of the car. But since the door was locked, she was trapped inside the car. Maya kept calling her friend, but the phone was disconnected. It wasn't long before the car pulled into a warehouse. Richard, the mafia boss, has been waiting here for a long time. He grabbed Maya's bag and told his men to bring out Maya's daughter. Now that they've got what they want, there's no point in keeping them around. The men took them to a dark room to dispose of them. Her daughter asked her mother and horror. Are we dead? Maya replied with a firm voice. Of course not. She then attempts to completely knock out all her enemies with multiple kicks, only to have the man kick her down. Unfortunately, her strength is no match for the man's, so she kicks her legs about 10 times before the man kicks her down and beats her up. But Maya's body is terribly soft. As soon as she's given the chance to get up, she's ready to attack again. She kicks the man holding her neck with a high kick. Then she kicks the other man's hand holding the gun. When the man let go of the gun, Maya took it and shot them. Richard, the mafia boss, heard the commotion and came over, but he, too, was killed by Maya's gun. After taking care of everyone present, Maya picked up her daughter again. As the dust settled, the police arrived. Maya was taken to the police station. She told the officers that there might be more of Richard's men coming. If someone claiming to be from the embassy asks about important documents, that person must be one of Richard's men. Soon after, a bald man arrived at the police station. He said he was from the embassy and knew all about the documents. The officer senses something is wrong and tries to shoot, but the bald guy is faster than him and pulls the trigger to defeat him. The bald guy threatened Maya to give him the file. Miraculously, the officer is still alive. He stabs bald Ed's leg with a knife. While the bald man was in pain, Maya quickly leaned down and kicked him in the head and picked up the gun that fell on the ground. Maya then hugged her daughter tightly, and suddenly, the bald man's phone rang. Maya answered it curiously, but heard her friend's voice on the other side of the phone. She then realized that the real mastermind behind all this was not Richard, but the man she considered her friend. Maya warns him, all your men are almost dead, and you're next. Don't underestimate the power of the white swan when it turns into an ugly duckling, because swans can dance ballet, and ballet can kill.